to my YouTube channel AI Hack by AK. In this particular video tutorial, I am going to explain you what is stacking, the concepts of stacking, and in my next video tutorial, which is a part of this one, I am I will take you through the uh, code of like how uh, like how to implement the stacking uh, using the VEC stack uh, package. So this VEC stack package. Um, I have uh, stumbled upon while while researching the web and it was uh, written by a person called Igor Ivanov which is uh, which is a deep learning engineer and it's a Kegel master a top 1% so all the credit goes to him for the VEC stack package and also the creating this beautiful repository explaining the concept uh, of the stacking at which I am going to explain it to you so intuitively uh, intuitively what the stacking is basically so suppose uh, suppose you want to make uh, a suppose you want to uh, make a custom made bike so uh, for this you for example you have gone to a engine expert for bike and and you asked him like what kind of, kind of engine should i have in my bike given some specification he told you okay this engine you should have then you go to the tire expert you ask the same thing and he told you the kind of tire uh, you should have in your bike and then you go to for example um, 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 a designer for the bike and he told you okay this should be the outer structure or design of your bike and after getting all those requirements you go to a uh, a, a super bike mechanic or super bike garage and you tell them okay this is the engine I want in my bike this is the tire I want and this is the design I, I want now you stack all those things and give me a bike so that's what that's how stacking works so all these persons in in my example like bike expert engine expert and design expert these are all weak learners or these are all models which know which gets some information ab about your data according to their algorithm but in some cases they cannot tell you anything so for example like you know bike experts can tell uh, engine expert can tell you only about the engines tire experts can tell you only about the your uh, about your tires design expert can can only tell you about the uh, about the design of the bike and in the end when you go for the uh, for the super bike mechanic to stacking all those things he knows about everything how to stack how what is the engine what is the how is the tire and he stack and give you the model so that will be your second level model so the first level model will be your uh, uh, will be your all your uh, uh, your engine experts, um, engine experts, your uh, tire expert, design expert, and the second level model will be your your super bike manufacturer. So basically, stacking is is all about stacking the models and getting the prediction using some other other um, higher model. So for example, if you are stacking in the first level model, if you are taking, for example, random forest, logistic regression, KNN, the second level model will be the higher one, which will be a superior model, which will be, could be your XGBoost or Adaboost or something like that. So how this stacking works? So let's, uh, let's go uh, through the concept of of stacking so there are two variants of stacking so we'll first go through the variant one and we'll second we'll go to the, the variant B so for example this is your training set so you what you do is you you divide your training set into three parts or five parts or ten parts and you hold out the one part so for example here two uh, to training set part one and part two you are use it for training and the part three of the training set you are keeping as it is 
so you train the model on these two set and then you predict the training predict uh, the train set okay predict on the part 3 to get the first part of the train set in the same time you use the the tra training um, train as uh, you uh, and and in the in the and in the same time you basically do the prediction on the test set so the first and second part it gets trained you do the prediction on the third part of the training and you get the results which is the prediction of the train set and in the same time for the model that is generated from for training part one and part two you get you predict it on the test set to get the first set of prediction which is called the temporary predictions for the test set that is for fold that is for fold one right in the second part again this thing is repeated but in this part the second part is your holdout set which is which will not be the part of training and you part one and part three will will get trained on the model okay and it and the part two will be part two and the prediction will be on the uh, first prediction will be on the part two which generates the the middle part of the training set and the same time the prediction will be on the test set again which will generate the the second set of prediction for the train set in the third part again the part 3 and part 2 will be uh, will be used for training and the part 1 will be again kept separately so the model will be trained on part 3 on the part 2 of the training set and the prediction of this model will be done on the train set so you get the last part of the train set and at the same time the prediction will be done on the test set so you get the third third prediction of the train set so as you can see here we have completed everything here right and now the prediction for this model okay so the so the um, so the final prediction for this model will be so the final uh, so 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 once you get the all these three sets you get the average average or the mean prediction to get the test set for this particular uh, um, to get the final test set this will be your prediction set so so as of now you first level of models first level of first level is completed now in the second part what will you do you use use some better model like xg boost and all that then xg boost and ada boost you use this particular uh, generated prediction data set data train set for training the model and then doing the prediction on this particular set right i think you have got it so till now what what we have done it here we have just completed our the our uh, first level of model right first level of model is basically first level of model is 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 trained on each part of the training set prediction has been generated and also prediction has been generated for the test set so here the important thing is that test set there's no folds for the created test test set we are just for each each training part we are doing prediction on the test set so three three different prediction for the test set are created with the same number of observation as in the test sets here the number of observation number of uh, predictions will be different depends on the which part is being predicted so 
for example in this particular figure train set is predicted so we will get prediction for only this set when we are doing it here we are getting prediction for this set since we this orange part we are predicting here we are predicting only uh, only the part 3 so this so only the this thing has been this particular uh, pink part has been predicted right so once you've done all the all the folds of the training set training set your new training set for the second level of model will be this and your new test set will be this and on this new train set and new test set you will do the second level of model prediction for example xg boost and, and adapt boost okay so this uh, this is the variant a so this is the uh, animation like how the you know the variant a has been done so as you can see the second part second uh, the first part when it is done the first model uh, the first part has been generated from the train set when the second part is on the on the prediction then then second part has been generated when the third when the third part is, uh, is for the training the the third part is generated for the training set so i think you have got the idea about the variant a now variant b um, we don't do the test prediction simultaneously with the train set prediction so for example you see here so we first complete the prediction for the train set and after that we generate the prediction for the test set so if you can see here here the train set part 3 is being predicted using the train part 1 and train part 2 okay here again train set part 2 has been predicted using the train set and train set part 3 together and here the train part 1 is predicted using the train part 1 and train part 3 so in this um, step 3 we have completed our prediction of the train set right in the fourth part we use this train set train set to predict the test set so here there will not be any uh, simultaneous prediction in, in in variant b so variant b so once we complete all the folds prediction then we go on to predict the test set the same thing has been mentioned here so so here is the common practice to use the uh, to use from three folds to ten ten fold to predict test set in variant a in each fold we predict test set so after completion of all folds we find the mean of all the temporary test set prediction made in each fold this is what we have done here so if you can see here every time we predict a part of the test set we also predict the uh, part every time we predict the part of the train set we also predict predict the test set so in this way we if there are three folds there will be a three predictions for the test set if there are five folds or ten fold there will be ten predictions of the test set and after that we will just get an average of those test prediction to get the the prediction for the model so I think I think that is done so this is basically just the first part that has been done here in the second part we will use this particular test this particular completed completed train set and this particular completed uh, uh, average of all the test set prediction to generate the our final prediction for the test set so i think i am very clear about 
uh, uh, about you know explaining this concept so if i will be also sharing this particular link in the description box and in the next part next part i will be explaining it uh, with some code so that will be more clearer to you to you and uh, so hope you have enjoyed this video so please do subscribe my channel and uh, hit like and um, share it if you want to share it to someone and um, that's all thank you